So you want to downgrade your iPad 2 or your iPhone 4S, this one's actually running out of those 5, to iOS 6. Well, let me show you how to do that today. Also, I'm sorry if I sound congested or if I look horrendous, it's because I'm, I got a cold. So anyway, um, let's not waste <coughs> any time and let's uh, get straight into this. And the first thing that you're going to want to check, um, also, a way you can confirm if your uh, 4S is a newer model or your iPad 2 is a newer model, um, is uh, iPhone 4S's are kind of harder to tell. Usually most of them are all downgradable to 6.1.3, but if you got one with a box or from one um, like with a box that has like the flat look on it, you probably can't downgrade it to 6. And uh, if you have one that's, uh, if you got one from like one of those like a bulk sellers where they just have like a huge amount of iPhone 4S's that they sell without checking them. Um, there's a good chance that you might not be able to downgrade this to iOS 6, which is why I always recommend looking for one that doesn't appear to be on iOS 9, but a lot of the times it is. So um, anyway, I will be showing you, well actually you would want one on iOS 9. What I'm saying is you just want to find one that's not a later production model. But the easy way to find out for an iPad 2 is you go on the back and you look like where your serial number is normally. And if you see EMC2450, then you cannot downgrade it to iOS 6 because it is a later production model. In my case, mine is EMC2415, meaning it's an iPad 2.1 and is downgradable to iOS 6. So that is all of the things that you'll uh, know if you actually want to downgrade it. So the other thing we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how to jailbreak to proceed with the downgrade because that will be needed to do KDFU um, because unless you want to get an Arduino if you already have an Arduino, but most people won't have an Arduino. So we will be using KDFU to pwn this to actually downgrade it to iOS 6. So we need to be jailbroken first, of course, so let me show you that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what is next. So you're gonna, you're gonna need a Windows computer or a Mac for this part, and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to this site right here, Koshi something, the Koshi 9, okay, and you're going to um, get this IPA right here. So anyway, you're going to go in here and you're going to hit install on this IPA. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to open up this page called Sideloadly and I'm using Windows in this case. I'm not doing it on my Mac and actually you can use it on Sierra and higher which is pretty cool. So you'll need that and you also need iTunes installed for this part for it to actually recognize your device. So anyway go in here and you're going to install Windows 64-bit uh, download or Mac OS download or whatever one you want here. So you're going to do that and you're going to install Sideloadly. And also this is why I kind of want to make a follow up to like a lot of these other channels that have been doing videos on this. It's been a bit different the way everything has changed. Apple's cracked down on sideloading, so you can't sideload from the web anymore. And the activation issues for A5 have started, so you're now going to have to need to use uh, activation records and stitch them so you can actually stay activated when you downgrade to iOS 6. So, uh, yeah, once you've installed all of this, I'll show you the next part. So, anyway, once you have sideloading all up and running, you, of course, will see your iDevice connected up here, and you'll need to actually put in your Apple ID to proceed. Um, they will, I don't think they log any of this, so I think it should be fine. So just put your uh, Apple ID in here. Um, I'm going to blur mine, of course. And then once you're here, you're going to add the IPA. Okay, so now that you've added the IPA file, you can just hit start. I'm going to do that quickly. So make sure it pops up here. And I actually have to put in my password, so let me do that. Okay, so I noticed some things that you will need. So my problem, you need to log into your iTunes with your actual, like, actual Apple ID as well and you will also need to temporarily disable your antivirus because it will just fail for some weird reason. So let's just do that. Also, I believe because it says it's untrust, you have to go into device management under general and you have to trust your Apple ID. Hit trust and it now technically should open. And here is where you hit jailbreak. Okay, technically we should have Cydia now. And you can see we have Cydia, and there might be a chance you get a boot loop. So if you get a boot loop, um, just go ahead, hop into iTunes and restore so you don't get out of that boot loop. And here we are. So you always hit complete upgrade always. And then when you install Cydia, so you go and hit confirm.
and I'll come back to you when this is all done. You see, you are not done here. This is the whole reason we installed this. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna open up, open, SSH and city, just search it up. And you're gonna hit install, confirm. And it will now install open SSH. So give it a minute. Okay, now it says return to Cydia. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're gonna install core utilities. Utilities. So you're gonna hit install on this. dismiss that should ask to reboot or restart your springboard next okay now it actually says return to Cydia so there's no need to restart your springboard here we are all good to move on to the computer and uh, give it a restore so if you do not have it installed already what you will need to do next is you're going to go and search up legacy ios kit i will all of course leave a link for this uh, down below so you're just gonna head here legacy ios kit and you're gonna find um packages or releases i mean and you're gonna give it an install and once you've done installing it and you're going to drag open up actually you're gonna open up terminal obviously and you're going to be using this folder a lot so make sure to keep this open um you're gonna go drag in restore.sh mine normally this will ask you to install xcode um i've already installed xcode so there's no need for that so just install it, it might take upwards of like like uh maybe like one to like 40 minutes depending on like how fast your wi-fi is i have very fast wi-fi so I should be good and it should be quick, but I've already done this, so it doesn't matter. So next part, you're gonna actually use your 30 pin. You need an authentic 30 pin, by the way. One from Apple, which are not too hard to find. And plug it into your iPad. And now you see this should be recognized on my device. Make sure you hit trust if you need to hit trust on your uh, device. And now you can hit enter. Um, it might ask you to do this, so I just say yes. Hit update now. Okay, so now that you've updated, you're gonna drag in read.store.sh again. Okay, and now that you are here, you're going to go to you're going to go to misc utilities and you're going to the activation records. And you're going to use the jailbroken method. Because we've already done this. So it should now actually it'll ask you to enter your SSH root password to your device, which is just Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. It will um, not show you putting it in, but it will actually be in there. So hit enter. And it should go into KDFU in a minute. I'll just leave this here just to show you. So, okay. So um, you're gonna drag restore.sh back into the terminal like uh, usual. As you can see, it says ac existing activation records detected activation records stitching enabled, which is what you want. So we're now gonna hit restore downgrade. Here you can either pick 8.4.1 or iOS 6.1.3. I recommend 6.1.3 for optimal uh, stability and uh, performance. So you're gonna hit uh, 6.1.3. You can download the target IPSW, which I'd recommend. And it should take a bit of time depending on what how fast your Wi-Fi is as usual. See, it's out of 794 megabytes. And actually, um, the whole entire reason this even happens, why you can downgrade to 6.1.3, is um finally enough, I uh Apple still signs it, and that is the whole entire way you can do downgrades. So, like for example, recently, um, when iOS 26 came out i was 18 uh, quickly became unsigned and you cannot downgrade to it anymore so here that means uh you can't downgrade to it but i was 6.1.3 and 8.4.1 are signed for some reason on a5 i believe and it's quite weird i don't know why um but you can downgrade to a completely untethered no tether or anything like that 
but there are that doesn't mean you can do it for every single other version like 7 you can't downgrade to or any other version of ios 8 or ios 9 you can't downgrade to it's just because it's unsigned same thing for like you why you can't downgrade to ios 4 but you can dual boot ios 4 i believe um but actually i think i would like to see ios has it built in with the four boot utility but uh yeah anyway it's now going to get the hash from the ipsw here okay and now you're gonna hit start restore and here you're gonna hit jailbreak which i would absolutely recommend if you actually want to use it on 6.13 so hit yes uh, memory option for creating custom ipsw um this really does not matter um i think mine is not it only depends on if you have eight gigs or higher um if you have eight gigs or higher um on your pc or, or your linux or your mac or whatever hit yes i don't i think i have four gigs because this is like a macbook air so hit no i'm gonna hit no in my case i mean okay and now this is where you would usually use an Arduino, but we're doing it the normie way aka <laughs> not using Arduino. sit so kdfu and it will now try to find it here so actually you're gonna hit ssh root again a l p i n e okay and it shall go into kdfu in a minute there it goes and as soon as you hit black that means you're in kdfu mode oh unplug and replug your device in as usual make sure you do that yeah do that quite quickly or it might fail it might fail in my case I'm gonna try it here too. So yeah, fail to find it in KDFU. So just do it over. I'm just gonna follow the same process where if you wanna get out of it, you just hit the home, the power button and the home button for like a good amount of minutes until the Apple logo pops up. See? So I forgot to mention this is a semi-tethered jailbreak for iOS 9, so that means you're just going to have to go pop back in here. Since mine rebooted back, you're going to go hit jailbreak for the second time here. Okay, so I unplugged it and replugged it back in, and now we are restoring, so I'll just leave this on a time lapse as it does this. Um, also, I wanted to add, when you're doing this, it's showing up that part that is completely normal. Anyway, like, back to the, back to the time lapse, by the way. Okay, it is now done restoring. And here, it should have automatically stitched the 
whatever they're called. As you can see, it completely um, activates it because we use the activation tickets and we're just onto location services. So you're gonna hit no, of course, for me at least. I don't know if you're what you're gonna think. Set up his new iPad. You can skip this because it's not gonna work unless you get certificates. Agree. I'm gonna say don't send. And there you go, you're on iOS 6 and you can start getting that uh, nostalgia here. <laughs> So, um, also want to do a little thing about Cydia here, um, because you might be new to this. So you're gonna, when you, uh, it's gonna prepare this file system when you open up Cydia at first, always. So let's say preparing file system, Cydia will exit when complete. Um, it will do this and it might uh, respring your whole entire device sometimes. That's what it usually does. I don't know what I'm saying sometimes. So, uh, let it do that and it should be good after a minute. Okay, as you can see, it's rebooted. And, uh, Cydia should now work. Again, I'm sorry, I'm super greasy today. I've been sick. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, this has been Derek from Certified Legacy. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and when you subscribe, make sure to turn on notifications so you are notified when I come out with brand new videos. Also, make sure to share this to someone that might actually find this interesting or helpful because I know a lot of these uh, down creek tutorials for 6.1 at 3 are completely d just don't work anymore with uh, how ch things have changed since then and might just completely destroy your device if you do not save um, your tickets and everything. So, um, yeah. And uh, I will, before I end this video, I'm going to funnel all of you guys, if you are new and you are watching this, I will be funneling all of you to my other uh, video, how to make the most out of iOS 6 in 2025, as that will probably help you if you have any problems with Cydia and it'll just show you how to get apps and everything like that. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, this has been Derek from Certified Legacy and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.